you're wasting your time trying to create bento boxes. Here's the best method on how to create them in Figma. So previously, to create a bento box, you might have been using auto layer to create these responsive vertical stacks. But as you can see, we're limited to the columns and we can't create any horizontal overflows. Alternatively, you might have just been grouping elements together to create the look of a bento box. But as you can see, this isn't responsive. I'm guilty of using these methods in the past until I found this new technique. So we can start by getting rid of all of that and creating a frame. And I'm gonna have my frame set to 1440 by 18, which is a good size for a website module. Now under our layout, we're gonna select these four squares at the end, which is our grid. And here we can define our grid by number of columns and rows. And so a good number I like to use is 12 by six, which is divisible by three. And I'm gonna have my gap set to 20 by 20, and the padding set to 50 by 50. Now you can see when we hover over either the columns or the rows, we get these little dots at the top, and we can actually click that dot and customize any of these columns to a different width. But for now, for this bento grid, what works well is a uniform grid that we can drop our boxes into. So once we've done that, I'm also going to change the background color to black. And now we're ready to create one of our bento modules. And so I'm gonna start by typing some text, create bento boxes faster, which will be our headline and then holding Alt, click and drag, I'm gonna create a duplicate, and I'm gonna call this one Customizable Templates. Now I'm gonna change the size to 28, and the weight to medium. Now select all of your text, and click Shift A to create an auto layer, and I'm gonna have the gap set to 16, and then Shift A one more time to create the container for our text, and I'm gonna change the padding to 30, on the top and sides. Cool. So now we're gonna give it some color. So I'm just gonna give it a stroke to begin. Have my stroke set to white and actually we're gonna give it a gradient. So our first stop's gonna be white and our last stop's gonna be white. Our last stop is going to be 5% and keep our first stop at 100. Now I'm just gonna drag the first stop to the top left hand corner and the last stop to the bottom right hand corner. Cool. Now I'm also going to give it a corner radius of 30 and now we can give it a fill. Again, it's gonna be a gradient fill. I'm gonna change it to radial and I'm gonna drag this first stop to the top left and again, that second stop to the bottom right and change this second stop to white and 0% and the first stop is going to be, let's say around 8%. Now, if you see this dot here, we can click and drag that and as you can see, it changes the radius of our gradient. So I just want that to be nice and round. Cool. Now select your frame, and if we resize it, you can see our text isn't resizing within our container. So what we can do is select our text, and then we're gonna change the height to fill container. And we just have to change the alignment to center. So now our box and our text should be nice and responsive. Cool, so our bento box module is now ready to drag into our grid. So holding command, we can drag this in until we see one of those little highlighted squares. And now what you can see is our module is now responsive within our grid. So we can drag this out, make it smaller, make copies, might want a second one down here, maybe not. What you can also do, so I'm gonna create an image box within our, our bento grid. So we can start from scratch by selecting the rectangle and drawing directly into our grid. And then we just need to make sure the width is set to fill container and so is the height. And I'm gonna give it a corner radius of 30 and the fill I'm gonna change to image. So now you can simply upload your images to these containers. And so these are the basic steps to build out your bento box. So to save you time creating all of these bento boxes from scratch, I've created a free template now available on Figma community. I'll link to it in the description below. So all you have to do is open it in Figma, and then if we go down to modules, 
you'll see we have all of these pre-made modules to choose from. So following the same steps, we're gonna create a new page, call this Pinto box, and here we can create a frame, change the dimensions to 1440 by 18, change the background color to black, give it a grid of 12 by six, gutters of 20, and padding set to 20 on the sides and top and bottom. And now if we go to assets, you can see we have this new asset library. Click Bento box modules and we can insert this instance. Now holding command, we're gonna drag this into our grid. And as you can see, it's already responsive. And so we can drag that where we want. Holding alt, I'm gonna create a copy. And in the top right here, next to module, we have all of these variations to choose from. So I can start to build out my bento box super fast. And so using all of the modules, I'm gonna select image for up here, copy this. And here I want the text image vertical stack. I'm gonna stretch that one out. Actually I might drag this one over here, drag that up. And finally, we have the review section. So all you have to do is customize the text drop in your images, and you're ready to go. And that's how to create bento boxes in Figma. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more design content. I'll see you in the next video.